Man, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tyrone, 100 and Head, 100 back in the building with another one. One more again. You see the title, I'm not gonna hold you. Know the motto. Um, if you're already rocking with the channel, I appreciate you, but still hit that like and share button. If you're not rocking with the channel, man, tap in. Um, we get lit over here. So you see the title. Today we're gonna be talking about um Hernandez Govan, uh, who's the alleged mastermind and a killer and a young Dolph. Um, his daughter, Lot of Cash Desto, got killed out in Texas, you know, as a result of what's been going on. Um, Big Juke got uh, killed, may he rest in peace, as a result of, you know, this whole situation. And just recently, uh, Hernandez Govan um, did an interview with Stan G and pretty much I, I I don't know I don't know what his motivation for the video was, but if you want to, you could go back to my video that I did about uh, Hernandez Govan, um, and we got an update. So because of the interview that he did with Hernandez Govan, I guess he was trying to chase a little YouTube fame, you know, trying to get lit off her, but. Man, some folk just wasn't seeing it that way. So <laughs> make sure you stay to the end of the video because this one right here is about to get spicy. This is the exclusive. I'm giving it to you. Your boy Tyrone Hunter, because at the end of the day, we just trying to find out what's really good. But with that boy go van, this was really good. Listen at this. <laughs> that boy, no ma'am, yes man. He was trying to sound slick when he was on a uh, station with your boy Stan G. But now he's standing in front of that judge. Oh my. Your boy, <laughs> Govan, had to go to church because a concerned citizen said, man, that boy out there doing videos with Stan G. Oh, my. She reminding that boy, she letting him know, listen, you out of jail, but I control your life. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, out here doing them interviews, like, with Stan G, oh my, now look at you. You standing in front of that judge like, oh my. So there you have it. Oh my. 
Shout out to that boy Stan G from Memphis um, for getting the exclusive interview. I know you ain't know that he was going to get wrapped up and, you know, he was going to have to go in front of the judge. You know, for this and Stan G, you know, shout out to you, respect to you um, on your YouTube grind and doing what you're doing. I support you. Keep on doing what you're doing. But at the end of the day, man, this is when clout, clout chasing goes wrong. So this boy, like, go Vaughn. And for one, he in the court looking like a real derelict. Like, come on, man. He's not... <laughs> Uh, what we just going to wait and see what happened um, when he go to trial, because I personally believe, man, that boy working. I believe, man, he going to give some information. He going to make sure to prosecute. He going to be like, you know, Michael Jordan on the prosecuting team. He going to be scoring. He going to be shooting the ball in the hoop, making sure the prosecution score. That's the only reason why he out of jail. But he get the clout chase of the gear award for even trying to be doing interviews, knowing that you out on bond for a high profile murder case. Like how smart can you be? Super goofy. It's like, come on, man. But you know, shout out to Stan G though. You got that interview, you know, you and you probably was the only person that was gonna get that interview. So sorry to say people, you know, Stan G, and you should probably you should probably advertise that video a little bit more now because that's the only one that we ever gonna get for a while, especially while he's going through these proceedings. So, if you want to see the video that um, Hernandez Govan, the alleged killer, young the alleged mastermind behind the killing of Young Dolph, if you want to see the interview that he did, make sure you go check out Stan G channel. Oh my, you feel what I'm saying? Because that's the exclusive. He got the only one, you know, and this is just an example of how clout chasing could get you wrapped up. Now, he got to go back to court on March 1st and hopefully the judge don't revoke his bond because he going to go in there with them head busts and they probably, they probably going to go upside that boy head or something. But yeah, man. And this is another example why you need to stay out of the streets, stay messing with gangs, stop messing with gangs, stay out of that street business and that street politics. Because it's not only about you getting murdered or you getting killed. Even if you out on bail, you got stipulation. The judge is telling him what he can do and what he can't do. And he in there humble like, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You don't want to put yourself in a position like that. You don't want to put yourself in a predicament like that. It's a lot of people lost their lives but behind that situation that went down in Memphis with Yo Gotti, you know, Big Juke, Young Dolph, you know, CMG crew, pre-crew, you know. Um, and at the end of the day, this is the, the last man standing. The one that's trying to do interviews to get some clout, to get some name or or whatever, or for the death of all of these different people. It's like, it got to be a better way. For all of y'all thinking about being gangsters, aspiring to be gangsters and gangs, man, don't grow up like this dude here. Be old and be washed up and got to stand in front of a judge who tell you that you can't even do a video. He can't have a YouTube channel. He can't have an Instagram channel. He can't have a Twitch. He can't have a kick. He can't have a video game channel. Only thing he could do is sit in the house and watch episodes of Love and Hip Hop New York. <laughs> oh my. 